Hi there, it's me again, Miss Britta. I have one of my favorite books to read to you this week. It's called I Like Myself. And this is a rhyming story. There's lots of rhyming words in there. And this amazing little girl who's the character in the story talks about lots of different reasons why she likes herself. And that's an important thing. We have to remind ourselves a lot of the times that we're really important and special. And every member of our community is somebody who needs to be loved. I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by David Catrow. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. When I read this book earlier in class, some kids noticed that the lion is so intimidated, so scared because she's so wild. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around, I like it all, it all is me. And me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Still part of her even if her appearance changes. She still likes herself, because I like myself. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Horns? She must really like herself. She'd like herself with horns. <gasps> Look at that! 
Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine. Or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. The end. This is one of my favorite books also because when I was a little girl, my mommy thought this was very important for me to know. So she would take me on walks to the river every day and we had a special rock we would stand on and I would stand up and she would say, say it, say it. And I would call out, I am I, I am I, and today I can say I'm happy to be me. And then she would say, say it louder, and I would yell at the top of my lungs, I am I, I am I, and today I can say I am happy to be me. And that really made me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And it reminded me that my mommy loved me. And guess what? She would stand on the rock and say the same thing. And I was really proud of her too. It's important to love ourselves. We're all very special, even if we're different. Have a great day.